My name's Ian Hamilton. I'm part of a movement of in-house recruiters you probably didn't know existed. We are not administrators or CV passers. We are not field agency recruiters. Quite the opposite. We know that we have the upper hand when attracting people for our business. Because we are fighting to deliver the demands of our hiring managers and find the best people, we have to do things differently. We don't have an endless supply of job boards and databases to cold call, but we know we have the upper hand. We build employer brands, we create engaging recruitment campaigns, our teams deliver more value than an agency could ever dream of, and we care about our candidates. But here is the question, how do we cut through the deafening noise of the recruitment industry and grab the attention of our talent pools? And that is what this podcast is all about. Welcome to TA Hack. Hi folks, it's Ian here and welcome back to another edition of TA Hack. Yes, I've still got the employer branding campaign that we're working on behind me, but today we're going to talk a wee bit more in depth about employer brand. So, um, last week I was at a conference and uh, Liam Fitzgerald of Woody Bix talked about why 80% of people just don't care about your employer brand, so your content never actually reaches them, they don't engage with it, and well, you know, what we want to do is we want to help that 80% of people come a wee bit more uh, interested in what you're doing and become a wee bit more knowledgeable about your careers and your opportunities. So what we need to do is we need to think a wee bit differently about how we create employer branding content. So. For this example, what I want you to do is I want you to think about the most important cultural aspect to your business. The one thing that is so, so important to your business, it's unreal. So for a company that operates in a hazardous industry, that one thing might be safety. So whenever I worked at Wood Group, the most important thing for Wood Group was safety. So everything we talked about was safety. If you work in a tech company, it might be innovation. If you uh, work in a company that, um, that, that, that has a very driven sales force, it might be the sales and revenue generation side that would be the most important thing to have people understand before they come into your business. Then we want to do something called polarizing, okay? So polarizing, what is polarizing? So if you think of the message that you've got, you could on a safety aspect, you could be very safe and you could be unsafe. So if you think about the messaging, never never messaging safety at all, right the way through to going uh, uh, almost kind of to the stage of going over the top about your messaging. So if we hit somewhere in the middle. So if we go from an unsafe to a a very safe, from a safety doesn't matter to a safety is the most important thing. Well, we've got this middle ground here, which would be essentially never really talking about safety, never really going overboard about it, never really kind of emphasizing it. Um, So if you hit this middle ground with all of your employer branding messages, you never have any impact on anybody at all. Okay? You never get your point across, you never have people starting to believe in the, the, the values that you have in your business and believe in the culture of your business. So if you go to the ultra, 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 very safe, very focused on safety, the most important thing, you're going to start to actually talk to a group of people that will be up in this section of the safety culture. So by going almost overboard, maybe not, but by really um, emphasizing the safety culture in your business, you're going to start to attract the people that are in the top maybe 20% of people that really see safety as the number one personal aspect of their their culture, how they behave, how they how they go about their business. Now by really polarizing the message that is going out in your employer brand, you start to actually be able to attract these people that are ultra, ultra engaged with the way you do business. If you have your employer branding message right in the middle, these folk aren't going to care about you. There's going to be very few people here that care about you. These people that do start to get engaged with what you're doing aren't the right people. So what we want to do is we want to go really 
kind of polarise the messaging that we have on our employer branding to make sure that we attract the right people, we engage with the right people and we really have those people wanting to join our business. And the rest, along this way, will decide to opt out and that's just fine. So that's a wee bit about the, the tactic that we use in polarisation of employer brands. Really making sure we get the message through to the right people at the right time and making sure that we create a culture within our talent pool and not just within our uh, employees but within our external talent pool as well so that whenever we pick people like this talent pool they are right for the business. So thanks for coming along to another edition of TA Hack. If you like that video, if you like any of the videos you can click up above, you can subscribe through in the People Traction website we we'll make sure to send you through all of the videos, um, all of the strategy videos like this and all of the co-hosted videos and all of the employer brand review videos that we create. And if you like it that much, share it with your network, let them know about it and uh, yeah, hope to see you forward in the next issue of TA Hack. Cheers, bye now.